Surely this will be a 12-0. We'll probably just go Shudder. I mean, might as well try it, right? Hmm. It's an interesting one. They all kind of do the same thing. They're all survivability, right? Getting the Shudder Walk is good. I don't usually have a Volcano. Maybe I just take one. I mean, I have Shudder as my legendary. I should probably play into it. Well, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> I mean, if I actually have just a totem on board or whatever, it's really good. It's an extra 6-6. Six, six. Maybe we just grab that? Second Volcano seems a little... Well, actually, probably, I guess. Valkyrie? This is also Valkyrie. Probably take this, huh? Valkyrie? Might be hard to actually make work, but... We can try. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. This is also good, though. Damn. This would be the ultimate pick, all three. Well, I guess Snow Flurry is not actually that good with Shudder, right? Because you're getting temporary spells still. Schooling is good with Corruptor. Command and Eptron is just really good. Which one's better? I mean, we have multiple fives already, so does that mean we just take Schooling? Yeah, you know, Schooling does have the downside that you can get Yellowfish. That's unfortunate. I guess the stats show Schooling, too. It's probably this, I guess, huh? Feels, I hate skipping these, but I mean, what, what choice do I have, right? I guess it's this. Does that make the Shutterwalk brew itself? No, right? It would only brew like another minion? Yeah, Corruptor could duplicate it and then you could brew it. But this would be the best Bowcry to copy, probably. But we probably need this, I guess. It's a better card. Like, this is good for Shutter too, obviously. Uh, this is a battle cry that can go wrong. Last time my shaman, my last shaman dunk tank was really useful. Probably just grab that. We have a couple of fives for it. Never eat the yellow fish. Yeah, the red fish is much tastier, just like Magikarp, right? Fire elemental. It's like it makes Shutterwalk. Well, it probably makes Shutterwalk better on average, honestly. And it's an elemental for prairie, so it could be fire elemental still. But yeah, last time I had tank, it was really good. It does. It's the same burn that Fire Elemental is. I think I'll, I think I'll grab it. It might be Forge Born anyway. I'm, I don't like Slurper as a card that much. One mana overload one just sucks. Although we have some ones, so it's actually it fits our deck very well. But I don't know. This is fine. I want Elementals for Living Prairie. More Elementals for Living Prairie. And Valkyrie. And Two Drop. And. Battle cry with windshield. It's a really good battle cry to get to, actually. I like hex, but you know, it's probably more important right now. There's a lot of things we want. And so targets are random with this, right? Yeah. So discover is fine. We probably just take grief walker though. Probably too greedy. Also, that one one swarmer would give us an actual potential half the time that's gonna go before corruptor. Yeah, are we already filling our hand? Oh yeah, we already have like three things that fill our hand already. Yeah, we probably just want this. Another one. Higher chance that Shutterwalk's gonna actually get a Corruptor hit. I guess. Now we grab a Hex. <laughs> Twilight Drake's pretty good actually. For the Shutter. Board control Shutterwalk. Depending on order, it could fill our hand and then get the Twilight Drake Valkyrie. I mean, we obviously take Hex, though. Uh-huh. Elemental Count is looking pretty damn healthy right now. They're both absurdly good. Oh yeah, Lurker also works with the Shudder. Yeah, we probably do that, huh? I guess we do that for that reason. Wasn't actually thinking about that. I guess we take Cruiser, um... The Battle Cry doesn't matter. We just have a lot of Elementals, so... We can draw spells too. Not likely we get that effect off, but that's fine. There's gonna be a chance that after Shutterwalk, it might actually draw schooling and then we could actually play it and give the Shutterwalk taunt, which could actually make a really big deal. Not very likely, but I almost don't have enough spells for this to work. Do I just take another Shockhopper? 
I probably don't actually want to mill myself. <laughs> I guess this is better then. I mean, this gives you a better card on average, like a card in your deck is better than a random overload. But I also want the Shock Hopper just for... Now we have even more Elemental Synergy, right? These will cost zero. We can probably just grab this. Um, Valkyrie. Not much for spell damage, so it should be this. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Not really a choice there. Origami Frog. Oh, that's awkward, though. That could be bad. <laughs> that could be really bad. There's no way I'm going to be able to, like, make that work either. Like, that's just going to be horrible. We might just have to take Forager. We're never going to play Chill Vibes as a three, right? It's just, it's only a heal, really. I'd probably rather just have a one drop, I think. I guess. Okay, pop a book. Do we want that? We we kind of do need draw to actually find our shutter walk. Pop a book is probably so good. We'll just take it though. If we get the seven mana spell, it's a little late at this point, but there's still a chance. Don't really need this, I don't think. I guess this is just a fine card now, but uh, turn two is looking a little weak, so. Probably want a Thrall's Gift now. It's just so good to have like a random Bloodlust or a random Lightning Storm. We don't have a Lightning Storm, so. This feels like a card you always want to have one of. We have so much early game when we already have a Baking Soda Volcano. We probably don't want an Earthquake, right? This is really good for the Dunk Tank setup, too. Probably just grab this. Brass. Our spawn can work with Shudder. You actually wouldn't want the Firefly because you might overfill your hand with the fucking uh, <laughs> one two. Second schooling. We have the Reef Walkers too, so like that also makes schooling better. Snowflurry, I mean, it does have the chance of just giving you like a cheap freeze that you could actually play with Shudder Walk. There is a chance. I mean, I'm not going to be playing that many spells, right? So I feel like it's not this. The one thing that makes me want the Snowflurry more is that we kind of have, you know, our curve ends on five, and then we have Shudder. In between, what are we doing, right? That's right when you would want Snow Flurry. It's also Elementals. That's what's making me want this a lot more than I normally would. It's also a Macaw hit. I kind of like it just because of that. Beautiful. Revenant's good too. And I guess Nimbus. And I almost want a Neophyte to throw into the Shudder too, but <laughs> it's probably not that important. We end up getting like way, way more Shudder Walk synergy than you're supposed to on average. We have to try. I didn't take the last turn spell stuff right. It's really just we want to try to play an Elemental the turn before. Half of our deck is Elemental, so that shouldn't be that hard. That's just something we're going to have to keep in mind to try to keep the Shudder active. I mean, Shudder is actually the secondary win condition of our deck. The primary win condition in this deck is literally just to curve out elementals and just kill them with Living Prairie. That's the primary win con of this deck. Shudder Walk is entirely a backup option. Are you ready to fight? We have the coin Forgeborn into Prairie. Too bad this isn't a Scar deck also, because this would have been an insanely good Scar deck. He kills this, I get to trade it immediately. You can also do it proactively. It wouldn't be the dumbest thing to coin this here. I mean, that thing is a little terrifying. And then I can still play this next turn. Probably not necessary though. No, I think I will actually trade so I can just... I get like a free mana out of this. It's kind of important actually.
water. The calm before the storm. He's also full on elemental deck. He trades. Over the tilt strat. I have a macaw too. You ever take the hex here? It's probably good to get the hex out when we can actually. Remove a taunt with it, honestly. You're not really getting the additional stats of this if you do it. This way we also have the Macaw active so we can get another Hex. Because we also have board space problems. And he is... Likely just dead. So 50 50 is dead. If only I had some warmth. Nice. The awkward thing is, is that when you go for it there, it might have been better to honestly not go for it, because... Well, even if you double three, the elemental chain's gonna die is the problem. Jane. Don't pull the wool over my eyes. Are you ready to fight? That is decent, but I don't think I actually want to play a Macaw in three. To copy this, I'm actually going to look for something else. I'd much rather Makadi a Shutterwalk or something. Oh, that's a card. Okay. Oh. Uh, huh. Because he has that upgrade hero power, I don't really want to let him hero power this, I don't think. I'm just going to go for this first. Give him the weaker hero power on curve. You know, I would be able to play the totem, the lackey next turn. I want to make it more awkward for him to deal with that. Nice. Nice. I may do this so I can prairie on five. What the fuck? I guess I'm dead. Any spell I'd actually want to play. I'm not sure if like Mana Wraith is in here either. Just do this to make sure. Flame Dung. Acceptable. Is Hell you a vanilla 4 mana 4 4? Uh, yeah. Always. So this game's gonna be hard if we get to turn 8. The problem is, Pack the House is gonna go right into his, uh, his legendary. Which, unfortunately, they literally always have. I 
What's that thing called? I may actually trade off just the 1-1 one, one and just play this. I value the damage more than a 3-3 right now. Just need to make sure I play an elemental on turn 8 also. Not this one because it overloads. I guess this one. Hope he doesn't have another one of these. Reality woven. No, this card's not draftable. It got generated, I think it was by Shockhopper. See, I may just have to kill this with that. Problem is, I don't have board space for this, right? Oh, well, that's probably better. It's so ridiculous. He's at fucking 29. If only I had some so Bloodlust is not even lethal. I guess I Storm. Probably want to play this first. So next turn we probably just pack. Probably pack into maybe Slogger the next turn. Pack into Slogger into Shudder. He's literally not clearing my board. I can't even fill up my board because he just isn't killing anything. It's getting really annoying, actually. He just isn't killing my shit. What am I supposed to do? So many choices. Now, Hope we get heal totem. I almost wonder if it was right to just bloodlust him anyway rather than storm. I don't know. Like, I need him to figure out a way to actually kill my shit. I mean, or don't and just die, that also works. Also, he didn't have more dress in his hand, right? Because we would have seen it, right? He would have just slammed it with uh slammed us with it. Probably one of the signatures, though. Rogue doing discover things? Probably coin this and just hope something works out. If I had to just tempo this on three, it's not the worst. Oh, 
Really? Okay. Do I just give this up, or maybe I... Honestly, I probably just play this, right? You ever just dump this? Probably not. Again? Uh, what the hell is the Forging Rogue? Oh, it's the mech, but that's probably not even in. I don't know, it's probably like a mechanome guide or something. Lifesteal mech? What are you talking about, the 5 drop? Yeah. Hope it's not that. I think that one's less likely than guide or watcher. Fuck me. Double fuck me. This is far from the greatest, but we probably just do it, I guess. Because it's active. I mean, otherwise I'm just wasting this. Which might not be better. I do need to save a... I need to get this down for Shudder 2. I need to save a elemental for turn 8. That's one thing again. So Palin does. Sing along. You know the word. What do I think about the new quest update? I think it was poorly implemented. For me, it's not bad, but like, I mean, I I think it was a bad decision to put it out as they did. Because I understand why people don't like it. It's 10 wins now. They pulled it back. But yeah, it's still... A lot. I could storm if I get that. The schooling is really good too, obviously, but maybe I just storm if I can. Oh wait, I can't do this and this with this. But then this sucks if I don't hit Thrall's Gift. I'll just do this then. Yeah, all these stinky yellow fish. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hideous. If you're wondering, yes, I am going out of my way, very much intentionally out of my way to kill off all of the yellow fish, because I did not have to order them that way, but I made sure to order them that exact way. It's very important. You see, the, you, you think we're thinking about strategy or whatever. It's like, no, no, we, we are forcing yellowfish genocide. Okay, be, let's be very clear about it. That is the top priority. Okay, there's that. I don't want to play anything off of this. It's awkward. I have to kill that. Guess maybe I'm still just supposed to play this. I don't know. Uh, good lord. Oh, it is disposable. Totem. Yes. No. Yes. It really sucks that I didn't have the ability to corrupt this. That turn. Hope for Thrall's Gift. The Thrall's Gift I can bump and trade. It's a 50-50. Probably higher chance than 
getting something off of this. I want to use this like after shutter probably. Yeah. Oh, I'm overloaded though, so I can't do this yet. Oh, that's a thing. Oh. Hmm. Well then. I don't know if I actually want to do that with Shudder. Does this thing show what Shudder actually does? It doesn't. Well, it does kind of. It does cast hacks. It'd probably be fine, right? Well, really? Like, I mean, I guess I just, I think I have to trade here and then I just rip this. Oh, then this dies, but eh, it's fine. Right, it's probably fine. Is it fine? I could wait a turn on this. Honestly, maybe I just do this first. Let's just do this first. That's pretty good. Because I kind of wanted to, you know, play this to corrupt this, but I can always play this eventually. That's fine, I guess. I can play this, play this, and then replay this. I need a uh, living prairie pretty badly. See, hopefully we get something good here. If only I had some warm soup. Like, am I supposed to just? I mean, I guess. I'm gonna get way too much value. I need to make sure I don't just randomly die, but. I need to dump my hand as fast as possible soon. Well, yeah, that's honestly what they should have done. It would have been so much better if they just implemented like tiered quests, where it's like they keep the existing quests, but then any additional quests just give you, they can be as hard as they want. It could force you to play 20 rank, ranked wins or whatever. And then you just get a little bit more XP. So that way they would incentivize people actually playing more without, you know, the shit show they tried to implement. Uh, how much health is on the board? 16. Like, there's no way this is going to work. If only I had some Perfectly. Balls. I could just do these two. Oh, I, I need to remember. I, I still forget that Spell Totem actually exists. Not for me, though. I guess I'm going to not play this because I want to actually... I think I want to be able to actually over... 
Maybe I don't want to shutter yet, actually. I, I want to keep the option open. Because also, I might not actually want to play the Totem Golem right into Volcano. Because I might be Volcanoing next turn, too. Oh god. Right, the other thing is I do need to keep in mind as well, I have to actually play an elemental right before Shudder. That's the other thing. There's the elemental. Okay, so next turn's gonna be Shudder turn, I think. Yeah. Get that thing off my screen. Now yellow totem, that's where it's at. Yellow totem is cool. You see, this is the difference. We're not we don't hate yellow, Chad. Yellow totem is awesome. It's just stinky yellow fish. That's four, isn't it? Does anything in this... Uh, it's gonna get grumbled, actually, so I should hit first. Good lord. Um, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, that doesn't overload you? Oh, that's OP. I thought this overloaded you. Ah, nice scorpion, bro. Oh, that's it. Then we have that. This is one mana. Okay, so I have so many different rushes. Uh, try to get this buff here. Am I giving out board space? Probably. I have a fish too. I'm probably going to play that. Um... I know I'm going to play this. Dude, I have so many different things that all work. Um, coming, I'm coming. And I just need to do something. Oh, 
like literally my entire hand is removal and all the breakpoints are different. I mean, this was fine. There are probably better ways to do that. Didn't canary the six six? I know. To be fair, like we could never use this extra shutter walk. <laughs> be like actually impossible. It's funny, he already has the tier four excavate, but he's trying to dump his hand. Not doing it particularly well though. He's at ten, we have three damage in hand. Might hit more here. We probably look. Could also get damage here. That is fucking useless. The calm before the storm. None of my shit costs any mana. Okay, me. Okay, that cost mana at least. Problem solved? Question mark. That's crazy, seeing someone, he just blew up his own scorpion. <laughs> okay. Yep, frog. He still has a discovered card. Oh my god. Well, neutral demons shouldn't be that good. Dude, he's played nine different types. What the fuck? I even know the I didn't even know there were nine different types. There's not even that many keywords. You just get to every keyword. Am I dead? I might be dead. Well, at least I get to kill that. Don't really need the taunt, right? How about a new life? How about a new life? Meanwhile, he's at full health again, just hearthstone things. Surely he doesn't have another one. Okay. Wait, that's actually insane, though. Half of his deck is zero mana, two, two rushes. Hmm. Do I save that? Like, we have a shock hopper in the deck. I guess we save it. Do I? If we draw the Macaw, we actually get to play the Macaw active. Otherwise, the Macaw is basically a dead pull. We're probably supposed to actually just play it.
Appreciate it, Hedgewan. Welcome. Do I even kill this? I don't think I do. It's kind of board clearing myself. Oh my god. If I draw a Makai, I might die. I mean, Salesman, I might die. I'm probably dead, actually. I'm dead. I can't win, right? Actually, just straight up dead. Nothing I can do. The only out, I have to get Macaw, and Macaw has to give me, like, Bacon Soda Volcano or something. Well, I do have Macaw guaranteed, so... But I have to get, like, Bacon Soda Volcano. This does damage. Doesn't help me. I would have been able to play that. That's just unfortunate, because we just had to draw our deck in the worst possible order. That was the only way we could lose. We win that game 59 out of 60 times. <laughs> that was the 1 out of 60, though. Isn't that fun? No, no, it is 120. Yeah, that was the one in 120 that we lost. Maybe we won if I hold the prairie. I don't know, though. Like, we probably still died because the prairie just didn't do enough. Rogue weakness is healing. Our strength is supposed to be healing, and we lost because he healed better than we did. Just uh, modern Hearthstone things. I appreciate Bioway Hedge one. I played before GVG. I played in beta. It's really... It's hard for new players because, like, you have to play... Honestly, you have to play Arena like it's constructed now, basically. The old Arena play style doesn't work anymore. Like, just trying to trade and just hope your opponent's going to run out of resources or whatever, it, it doesn't happen. No one runs out of resources anymore. Like, we're, we both were hitting fatigue, and we still had multiple plays per turn, right? Like, it's just, it, there's no value strategy anymore. You have to try to win other ways. I'll just do this. more constructed like down with the ship with hell he is illegal and school teacher it's definitely wrong i mean a lot of people would do it it's definitely wrong though thanks for subscribing hitch one it's part of why Helia underperforms so hard. It's because people pick bad picks because they take all the... Especially now, the plague cards are so bad compared to just average cards you're able to draft that if you pick all of them, you just lose. Why is it wrong? Because it's just a worse card. School teacher is way better. School teacher can even give you a plague spell. Like... <laughs> can give you anything. Can even give you down with the ship.
You also just do not, like, you don't need plagues to make Helia work. You're actually better off drafting more late game or more discover and stuff that can prolong your ability to stick in a game. Because if you pick every plague, what happens every time is you get stuck there hoping your opponent dra draws seven plagues in a row and otherwise you die because you're losing, right? And then it never happens. Well, why is it bad and people still pick it? It's because they see Helia and they see Plague and they pick Plague and their, their thought process ends there. I really wish I had literally anything that didn't cost three. Like a lightning bolt. Not actually, that wouldn't even work. Maybe over trading, I don't know. He didn't deal with his last turn though. He might be able to suddenly deal with it. At least he gets a Burrow Buster to deal with it, which is pretty likely. This would trade back. Unfortunately, Rip is also, Bridge Rip is also likely. Okay, at least I can't kill this. You can go Hex in this. Other play would be like Double Reef Walker. But then I still have to trade this. It's not the end of the world if I trade that. If you hex, you have to just play this. I think we just do this. How do you play if not for value? You, you're basically always trying to do something really OP that's just unbeatable, that just kills your opponent outright. That's generally what you're trying to do. That might happen on turn 4, that might also happen on turn 14. That might happen on turn 24. <laughs> uh, Bloodlust is one off. I actually like getting the extra fish here. I have to play this if I want this to be active next turn, but I might just do this and this, maybe? And then try to Bloodlust next turn. If I just had a Reef Walker, a Swarmer in hand, it would be lethal. Alternatively, you could do this, because then you can Macaw it. This is kind of funny, though. Random, yeah, but it's enemy, it's random enemies, so ding ding. It makes it very difficult because, yeah, like you try to tempo people, but you also have to keep in mind that people can always full heal at any moment basically if someone's at one health they are not dead they could very easily be 30 health two turns later so you know that's all that all makes it very tricky uh this could generate pack the house again but also not I just need like any board to stick, right? Because I have blood loss, so I'll spread out the um yeah, here we go. Now he's starting to do the whole you see his health total is starting to go up instead of down. This is like very common now. <laughs> I 
I think we just do a bloodlust now. This place is scary. Uh, the odds we kill him are pretty high. Let's just see what we get here. If I don't get it, I'm probably just going to corrupt her. How badly do I want to push this one damage? It's probably worth getting this freezing trap down. I probably don't care about the one damage that much. Why are my viewers so condescending? I know that guy just comes in to troll because he doesn't like me. Most, most of my viewers are fine. Oh, this goes face? Oh. <laughs> I didn't know that goes face actually. Yeah, that was just straight up lethal. I could have just shot him with that. That's okay. Oh yeah, I also just missed lethal again. Uh we don't talk about that show. We got lethal anyway. Just finding the more entertaining lethal. All BM. We're just finding the more entertaining vehicles. Are you ready to fight? It didn't look like he was gonna have it, but like that—that's the exact kind of thing you actually do get punished for. Like that kind of miss lethal, though. You actually will lose a lot of the time because you miss a lethal like that, because they will just start healing. I think that guy just didn't have that good of a deck, but against a better opponent, you will actually lose because of that. That's the kind of mistake you're really not supposed to make now. Actually. Because you do actually lose games like that. That's part of the more constructed gameplay aspect now is that like, you know, people do, like control decks do, that's part of what it is in Modern Hearthstone. Instead of, because they power crept everything, instead of increasing the life total, they just increase the healing. So that's what happens is that health starts to increase. It doesn't just stay static, right? It used to be like once you dealt damage to people, they wouldn't heal very much, right? But now it's like they will actually heal. Hmm. I may actually, I think I do this because then I can actually trade the, well, there's two options. Either I can double trade this and then I actually use the spare part or I use the snake oil. I can also just play this and go face. Yo, EJ Giga Chad with the gifted sub. I think I'll do this. It's not that. Like, Consecration fucks us either way, but... This isn't that much worse, and it's a lot better if he doesn't have it. Except to Wolf Ride, Wolf White, Wolf Ride Re. Appreciate, appreciate it. Welcome. Oh wow, he doesn't have no frost, so he's probably Blood Unholy. He's probably a Blood Unholy uh, hand buff deck because he did not get Reborn, which is the Frost one. That's interesting.
Do you still make value trade possible? It, it very much just depends. You try to play around AOEs. If you know there's a potential AOE, you want to try to make them more difficult, but you also kind of have to assume that your opponent can clear any board they want to if they really want to. So it's always a cost-benefit analysis. It's very good to push face when you can, but it's also very good to put, make a trade if it makes their AOEs and, or other reactive options worse. That's part of what's been become more difficult about modern arenas. It used to be you just always trade, right? But now it's like, if you always trade, you're going to be leaving wins on the table. Wow. Hope that means he doesn't have another one. Hope that doesn't mean he has another one. I can go Snow Flurry Totem if I want to, then Lurker's still active. But if I Lurker, I can Dunk Tank immediately. But it's probably not needed, I don't know. It is 3 AoE because I have the Spell Totem, so it might be worth it, actually. Because I have the secondary Hex, and then I just get this thing out. Such a weak Hex, obviously. But... If I play this, I'm also losing frost spells. So, I guess. It, just, it might be really good to have this actually active. Rip that guy. Doesn't actually kill this, though. That is true. It's like it could actually be worth like holding this until after shutter because this could actually be a problem with that. I was wondering, he actually did go out of his way to kill that thing. Let's do this. That's kind of the thing, yeah, there are so many different AoEs. I mean, there are, like, critical turns you know, okay, this is the turn that certain thing activates that you have to worry about. You can still play around it to some extent, but yeah, it was a lot simpler back when you only had every class. It's like, okay, you had Flame Strike in Mage, you had Lightning Storm in this class, you had Consecration in this class. It was way simpler back then when you only had, like, that one or two cards you had to worry about. I take this. I mean, I can mount too. It's like if I mount this, maybe that's better actually. But I don't have other excavate, and that's probably better actually. Because I can have a 1-6, or I can actually, and an Excavate, or I can have this guy, which is going to be, like, you know, spell damage that actually sticks. I could have actually Snake Oil, too. But... Maybe it was worth Snake Oiling, actually, because... Save a lot of health on this, and then... Hmm. It might be worth it, actually. I kind of need to get the snake out on my hand for the shutter anyway. Although I don't think I have that much. This doesn't do that much value yet, so. Yeah, I mean, for Arena, there are certain things they would do to discover that would make it healthier. The problem is, is that they're trying to make these cards playable and constructed. And constructed, discover has to be really freaking OP for it to actually be playable. Because it's competing with the ability to actually put construct your deck. It has to be really strong to make it actually even remotely playable. Because like Venomous Scorpid, for example, was like borderline unplay. It was barely playable and constructed, right? At the time, it was the best arena card ever made, pretty much, you know? It's just it's competing in a different area. But yo, Dose with the raid. What was that? 
That was a long time for your last run. How did that go? Must have been amazing. I saw it was like 6-0 or something when I left. How'd that go? Uh, if I just roll spell damage. 12 and 2. Glorious, glorious. Do you believe in spell damage? Put put a random dose emoji into chat if you believe in spell damage roll. Do we believe chat? We're probably going for it anyway. If only I had some warm soup. I believe. Damn. Honestly, maybe I don't even do this now. Yeah, this is probably better. <laughs> what server am I on? That was a lot more lag than I was used to. I thought I'm not on Asia. Not just randomly started lagging really bad. We got the spell totem, that's nice. My blood for the King. We're not finding the time to film for the Trevor Cooking channel on YouTube. I have many YouTube channels, all the YouTube channels. I actually might make a new, a new YouTube channel at some point, though. But we'll see. I'm Omni server. It's like even when I'm playing on my home server, it's still I still get Asia server lag. There are many YouTube channels. I actually have two already, but most people don't know about my second one. I'm probably gonna make a third one. I mean, I haven't uploaded on this on that other one in like four years at least, maybe five. Uh, what do you do? Find the stuff we really want right now. I'm gonna do you. The second one was just about Chinese, actually. Like the language. I, am broken. I only put like three videos on there, though. I might actually. It's like I was thinking about making a basketball channel, actually. I don't know. I might do something else. I don't know yet. Is this good? I don't know if this is good or not. Might be. I mean, it's really good if I just draw Living Prairie literally ever. I play basketball? Not really anymore, no. I, I, I lack the uh, being six foot eight aspect, which would be helpful to actually play it. I do look tall. That's the funny thing about Twitch. You can't really tell. I mean, I'm like, I'm like close to six foot, but uh, that would make you a midget in the NBA. It's helpful. It's like if you're like six foot and you actually have like unfreakishly long arms, it's actually a lot easier. But I also don't have freakishly long arms. I mean, my arms are fine. I think my arms are slightly longer, but it's like, I don't know. My wingspan's probably the same as my height. Get dusted. Tallest while laying down. Who told you? Oh, you found out about my other streaming channel. Right.
talking about other YouTube channel, other streaming channel, you know. We 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 have a lot of content out there over. Okay. I probably play this, don't I? He's a rogue, what's he gonna do? No, no, don't look at this card. Don't look at this card. And actually, I wanna start, I don't know. I wanna get like general fitness up first, but I actually do wanna start training my vertical leap again. I used to build it. I won the high jump in middle school in my class Trust no one. I used to be able to jump really well so I can't do this yet I mean I can lightning storm now is it worth just lightning storming now These don't seem that good. Because if I save this, I can obviously bloodlust next turn. Maybe we, we roll heal totem. I take all the trades. Fuck. I mean, I'm developing enough. This is probably fine. Oh, they just made a forum post about the barcode queue? Ooh, I should look at that. April bot update. They actually talked about the fact that we call them barcodes. <laughs> Always one off. Do I just bloodlust them? I don't really want to. So many choices. Do I honestly destroy Mana Crystal? I think I do. <laughs> I don't need this mana. I have enough for Bloodlust, that's all that I need. I should put this on. Oh, you know what's really funny? Literally today, I think it was like 12 hours ago, I got a um a comment on my YouTube. Or did you see, you might have seen it already, but I got a comment saying someone saying like you're a clown, you made this up about barcode a barcode queue. You made this up just for views, as if I get views anytime I make that kind of video. <laughs> as if those videos get me views. You know how much money I get from that video? Like $5 maybe. Woohoo, I got five dollars from making misinformation on purpose. I did it, chat. Got him. Are you ready to fight? We show this is the post they made. We made an update to arena at matchmaking, a proactive step against extreme play patterns specific to that mode known as barcode accounts, and then just stuff, blah blah blah. If you retire runs early, repeatedly get put into a separate matchmaking queue and they just explain stuff about why they have that but pretty cool I pinned that comment I should go actually update that with the uh I need to be able to play this, don't I? I should go respond to him with the quote. Actually, with the forum post. I should go do that, actually. Let me do that.
<laughs> they increase difficulty, make it more likely by signature cards. That, that's that would be an interesting leap. Yeah, I think that would do the exact opposite. Actually, that would actually make it significantly less likely people would buy signature cards. I may actually burn the uh, pop-up book here just to uh, let's see what we get here, just to protect this guy. Seems reasonable. What's the worst that's gonna happen? Well, this is the Alex Jones of Hearthstone. True. Dude, if only on Twitch. Actually, I can do it on YouTube. You just do these weird things where you just start... Ah! Like Alex Jones would do. You just rip off your shirt. Talk about the frogs turning gay and stuff. Is that what I should do? Maybe that should be my new... That could be my new thing. I wish they should have positioned this differently, probably. Ramming speed's not in, is it? It might be in. Ramming? Uh, it doesn't look like it is. Is Super Collider in? Looks like it is. Can't really Super Collider because of this, but still, but... I should have just put these as far away from each other as possible. Nice way to get paid to make fake forum posts. True. What the fuck? You can get the same spell twice. Alex Jones does have a lot of money. That is true. It's a lot more money than any Hearthstone streamer does. Any current Hearthstone streamer. That might not be true. Probably true. I don't know that he... I don't think he has more money than Crip. I, I mean, I don't know how much money Alex Jones has blown out of what he made. Like, Alex Jones probably made more, more money than Crip, but he probably also blew through a lot more of it. I would guess. So... Over 100 million? Okay, that's a lot more than Crip made. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I don't know how much Crip has, but it's probably in the tens of millions, not in the not like a hundred. Maybe only single digit millions. I don't know. No I probably want to protect this thing. Keep trying to get spell kill totem. There it is. Watch our whole board get frozen three times and then we die. Yeah, Crip said he was like buying churches or something, yeah. The own people in lawsuits. Uh, Alex Jones, he, he prefers to not talk about the lawsuits. <laughs> uh, wait, I just played this right, so this is active. Oh, that's not the right. This is not Lur Lurker. I probably don't want to play this one, actually, in fact. And this doesn't even die on board. Well, I go boom, boom. If only I had some warm soup. Take shelter. Maybe I get a uh, spell here. Oh, that's a dragon. Man, I, my eyes do not work right now. I mean, I still do this, I guess. Probably be good eventually. Just realized I don't actually. I didn't. I needed to not do this actually. Oh no, it's fine because he's gonna kill stuff anyway. I thought I was gonna have my board be full, but then I realized he's gonna kill stuff. Doesn't matter. Barrel 
We need to find like literally any spell. We need to reactivate that. Dude, I can't even play these. I have this problem so often, chat. It's like. Uh, is it actually worth. I can deny the armor here. Is that worth it? Might be worth it. Probably. Partially because I guess I play this. I'm at the point I need to start killing off my own shit because it's actually getting in the way. Just play this. While it's not active. Well, they've been trying to ban any bot, any account that had botting activity on it. They've been trying to ban forever. Um, they don't directly try to ban accounts that are like barcoding, so to speak, as in uh, accounts that are actually trying to, you know, cheat the arena ecosystem by retiring. They don't actually go out of their way to ban those. But they made that separate queue. So that those players get to engage with other players that are engaging in the same play style as them. It's kind of awkward. Unless this actually whipped. And we got the best totem. Nice. This didn't even get damaged, so this can't get executed either. Oh my god, he is you, Sarah. Thrall's gift one time. Literally cannot get spells. We just go phase because that way. I guess we just go phase. If he awakens, he's probably gonna die. I guess. I mean, we might actually lose to that. Guess he didn't get awakened. You could only Awakens once, because New Awakens, if you're not aware, it actually deals face damage to both heroes now, so... You could only Awakens once ever, because two will kill him. Basically. Yeah, Threads is a really weird and confusing card. I'm gonna rip that guy. Oh my god. Don't know spells. Am I supposed to just snowfall? Because I can also macaw. Put some gloves on. Later. I want to be able to macaw this though. I have to not play any other battle cries, which is kind of difficult to do right now.
Yeah, that's what I think. I think we just evolve it. Uh, it's not actually good, but... <laughs> That kind of didn't work. Yeah, maybe that was better. I wasn't expecting my minion to literally kill itself. But yeah, evolving the 3-4 to unfreeze it, that maybe that was better. <laughs> Awakens kills him. Wait, is Awakens... uh, Is it two mana now? Oh, it's two mana now. It's a problem. Double Prairie. And then Cobalt Lackey is lethal. So many choices. Wait, I don't have board space. Oh. It's probably still the play. Because I can't kill off any of the sheep without trading the 1-1. One, one. But now he can't awaken, so... There would have been like a really low chance he actually get lethal with Volcano that turn, but... <laughs> that would have been a little scary. Okay, full elemental hand. With the one drop. Maybe this is better? Since he's a shaman, maybe I want to play this just in case he just rips an evil totem. I'll do that. I'd rather have this against a, two, a regular 2-drop, but there is evil totem, right? Better to hold this for party animal, that is true. I wanted literally any other totem. My opponent's high rolling baby rage. He won, he won a one in four. Luckiest player in history. He also doesn't, appears to have misplaced his end of turn button. Let me hold this. Playing it right into Volcano turn doesn't feel amazing. Okay, that would have helped. <laughs>
It might be this, this, this. Instead of this. This just doesn't line up all that well. There's a world where it's better to get this down in trade rather than play this, just because he might be less likely to blow up the board then, and then we might kill him. Oh, I don't have enough mana anyway, though. Yeah, look, he blew up the board. Got pretty good refill, though. I'm obviously playing this. Now, do I play this or this? This might be good enough. Because he's already going to try to blow me up again. Ah, another one. Ah, that's not it. I'll write that down. He's literally dead on board already, but... There's a 1-2 that death rail summons a 1-1. One, one. I know, right? Just literal direct power creep. It actually gets played in wild and constructed too. In Murloc Shaman. Not that many people actually play. I don't think Murloc Shaman's that common of a deck anymore though. There's just more OP things. In Wild, they mostly play. Yeah, there's a lot of different decks actually. Like Totem Shaman's the aggro deck you play instead of Murlocs. Is Shaman best class in Arena? It's up there. All the top classes are pretty close. I mean, Demon Hunter, Shaman, Death Knight, they're all pretty close. Probably have another play, right? I can't, I, I cannot afford to overload, even if I wanted to. I could play this, but it doesn't seem, why would I do this when I could do this? Good old Greenfish. Greenfish is a little scary because he's a little close to Yellowfish. Same with Orangefish, like they're kind of like partially Yellowfish, but we forgive them. Everyone has flaws, right? You gotta forgive them for their flaws, but not Yellowfish. You don't forgive Yellowfish. Yellowfish deserves everything. All the negativity. Stinky Yellowfish. So, probably play this no matter what. And then we're probably playing this next turn. Heh! <laughs> Manual Rush Dirigible. Greenfish tastes better. That is true. I think Redfish tastes the best, though. Kind of gross, but what are you going to do? Greenfish is also, I mean, it kind of looks radioactive, though. You might actually not want to eat that one. 
I can't confirm that it's radioactive, but let's put it this way. I wouldn't take the chance. You know? Sometimes it's better to be safe than sorry. Uh, you think he blows up our board? I just realized that I needed to do that first. Oh, never mind. I screwed up. I was supposed to play this first. I was careless. He gets condemned, that's really bad. Well, see, I may have actually just straight up the run. Um, I probably have to storm here. Good storm though. We need to find our shutter walk before he finds our shutter walk. That's going to be kind of important. The play I did actually wasn't that worse a tempo than this would have been if I did it right. Right, which of these do you want to believe in? Just I might do like this and this next turn, and then yeah, Macaw's gonna copy this probably. But then I might do everything else first. Technically I could do this and this and then Lightning Storm still works. Or I can hit that. That's an option too. If I want I can tempo Macaw for this. But this is probably better. Is Quest Priest good in Arena? Uh, no. Pretty much every quest is completely garbage. Priest Quest might be one of the better ones, to be fair. I think it might be like the second best quest, actually. The best one is the Shaman one, probably. But I still wouldn't call it good. Oh my god. What do I even want off of this? I don't know. I think I, maybe I copy this for more value. Probably. And do I do the weakest blizzard in history just because I can? I don't know how much it's really worth to get other crap out. Cause I kind of need to deal with that. I, know, I just... We're kind of here in the long game. So... <laughs> And it's a problem. My rage is not by my side. 
Get the hex for this. I might cash this in now. Unless I want to save this forever for Shutterwalk. Maybe I want to save it for Shutterwalk, actually. I need to stop getting two drop lockies. Best heal. This is a four six. Holy shit! I, I did not. I didn't know they buffed that card. Oh wait, this literally gets healed anyway. <laughs> Oh, a 4 6 is a lot better than a 3 6 right now. Don't keep your thoughts to yourself. No, it's. You're thinking of Shutter Block. This is Shutter Walk. This is the original Shutter Walk. You play Shutter Walk, and then the next turn you play Shutter Walk again. Can you feel the gift of the I actually don't know if I'm going to be able to, because, like, my Shutter Walk is so much value that it might just overfill my hand. I don't even know if I can double shutter walk. Rip everything. Dude, why does he have more evil tomes than I do? Not active. Uh, since I only have 8 mana, I guess I'll play the smaller one this turn. If I get, like, a blizzard again, right, it might make a difference. That's trap. That's crap. I literally don't... I can't play this. I mean, I can play this, I guess. I probably will. If only I had some warm soup. I want to wait until I have more mana for this. This is unplayable, so I'm just going to like do this and tier power, I guess. Kill the totem. If you didn't know, by the way, I realized this earlier that a holiday is not actually draftable anymore so if you're picking viper because you ate holiday like many of us were uh you don't actually need to anymore you pick it because you hate death knights now that would be the more of the bigger reason but not holiday he's better lackeys than we do i know i have this shit fill up your board with garbage lackey He went out of his way to try. Oh no! Yeah. Well, I guess it can't be flame ward. Never mind. Yeah, it was a frost spell, so it couldn't have been flame ward. Okay. Um, I guess I'm gonna take this. Probably play it last, so that in case I want to call it, I can. Fucking discount ruining me. I wouldn't be able to play this turn anyway, to be fair. If only I, had some warm soup. I guess I'm killing off all the 1-1s, one right? No, no, I probably want to kill this. I want to get the frog gone though. 
Guess I kill this. So I have the option now if I want to, I'll be able to get a... It's a random frog. But I can do that if I feel like I absolutely have to. Ideally, we, we do a snow flurry and get something that actually corrupts the dunk tank. I mean, eventually we'll draw a five drop, right? But... Rip that guy. Take a 50-50 here. Same problem. I can macaw that though. I have to give up a 1-1, but then I can do that. If only I, had some warm I can also use the dunk tank. To save the macaw. Dunk tank's pretty good though, honestly. I don't know if two Shutterwalks is needed. If it's not, it might be right to just McCall now. Probably. The disaster of this discount, man. This discount has screwed us so hard. With the dunk tank. This was a game if I played the early if I didn't make that early game mistake, we might have killed him. I don't think we would have though. But maybe we would have killed him super early. I don't know. Ah, he just gets to chain mind controls. And there's nothing we can do about it. That's fun. I like how after I use the uh, Macaw, I immediately draw Shutter. Need this shit to go faster. Damn, didn't get any mana cheats, so I couldn't play any of these. He might steal this. <laughs> he probably doesn't have as good of a shutter deck as we do, though. He just steals it, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna dunk you. Could get copy from Snow Flurry? I could, yeah. I don't know if I want to use that this turn, though. Probably don't. I could try to keep the bird alive to get the copy that way, but I want to protect the uh, Wind Fury, I guess. Oh my god, dude. Light cannot exist dark. Doesn't even kill. If 
only I have some warm Since this doesn't work, I mean, I have... I want to heal with it anyway. I guess we start with this. Just we wait for now. We are a few draws ahead in fatigue. It's just I'm worried about all the crap he already has. He missed rush. Unfortunately, because of because I played this, I can't actually clear right. It would actually have ten if I just didn't have this. We check this first, maybe. There's things we could get like that. Him drawing is actually like very bad for him. He actually still drew two. I only saw one. Okay, we got another one of these. He's really far behind in fatigue, man. Have we seen his legendary yet? Imagine we lose to Kazakazan. It was Sylvanas, right? That one was created, but... Yeah, yeah it was Sylvanas. Jokuru would have won this. That is pretty true, yes. I guess schooling is nice. Um, yeah, Volcano is still what? I trade off everything. He still has like too much for this. I mean, Volcano and schooling probably would clear, but. Bunch of secrets. Yeah, we could hit a secret. Sharwalk? No, it's not. We have just like so much stall, right? Um, I might actually do this first. Like we're still over 30 health, right? It's like, how do we die? He has like, I mean, like seven turns to kill us at least, but.
Yeah, they can do everything else. I may do this wrong. I may have already done it wrong playing that order, but... I want like 4 and 2 to go in here. I'm probably going to try to use the raid boss as the last resort. Like, I have to see an AoE before I even play it. An AoE and a board, basically. Kind of sucks not having Strength Tome, because, yeah, Strength Tome allowed the totems to not kind of screw over your board slots. Spell damage makes it so much harder. Yeah, now you're supposed to have Wish Upon a Star, I guess. You're gonna mind control that thing? I think it still has Raj. I can buff my RBO. Augers. Volcano. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It does clear. Do I want? I probably want Searing, right? Over, over Taunt. I am out of cards. Like, he has to kill us. We don't have to do anything. Uh, how good is Volcano here? One, two, three, four. So Volcano clears like this, right? Four, five, eleven. Yeah, I probably do that. One problem is I won't be able to RBO next turn. That's probably okay. Maybe I shouldn't tote him at this point. I'm really not planning on playing the RBO until literally everything's out of his hand, though. He's holding on to some giant minion this whole game. Good totem roll. Killing off mid damage, spell damage mid effect. Not if it's like a volcano. If it, it depends. Like if it's a um, like earthquake, it actually makes a difference. For example. Like, it depends on what it is. Because Earthquake does the damage twice in two pulses. Like, I guess I actually corrupt her here. So many choices. How about a new life? How about a new life? One ones are a little annoying against this. Okay, we know everything now, right? It's just light bugs. 
Yeah, light bugs and removal, so we just win. Now we 100% win. Oh, ah, walking mountain just in case. Two oh two maximum XP. Okay, so it's a hunter. As long as we don't get cacked, I don't actually think we keep tempo negative stuff. Let's just um try to get the elementals. No, the turn eight card was a claw machine draw. It was drawn from his deck. It couldn't have been anything. Do you ever go double duster? If only I had some warm soup. I'm just not sure how I get the prairie out right now. Because if you go two into three, you can't do this. If I go like Duster into Macaw, I can play this on four. I'm coming, I'm coming. The culprit was not tidy. I guess. Yo, Mafundi with the raid? Oh, nice. We got killed that weapon off. Nice. We did the raid. How is how are your runs today? Hopefully, we get another cheap elemental so I can afford to play this. I mean, I guess that works. <laughs> Not what I was uh, hoping for, but I mean... Okay. Not a good day today? Yeah, that was my day yesterday. Dude. It seems like... Um, meta did not get easier. Recently. Put it that way. Oh my god, I'm dying. Uh, I appear to be dying, chat. What do I do about that? Macaw Jades. Is that the secret strat? I actually trade here, don't I? I think I have to. This is going to go here, because otherwise that could go there, which would be really bad. Oh, fuck me, I guess. We just played three games of Fatigue. Yeah, we just had a Fatigue game against a Priest. Just now. And now we are trying to not die. How do we not die, chat? Better kill the 3 2. I probably have to kill the 3 2, actually. I don't think value train the 2 3 really makes sense because then the death rattle just goes in. I kind of want to kill the most damage possible as well. Um, I think I'm dying still. Oh my god, we're dying. That was a really weird way to use that though. Oh. Okay, that can save us. Macaw and Reefwalker? Do not order this wrong this time. 
We may have avoided that last game if I just ordered the macaw correctly on the same turn like this. Yeah, if that was Wind Fury, we would just instantly die. As is, we seem to have stabilized, right? He just has a random beast card that he's had in his hand most of the game. Oh my god. It's obnoxious, but I mean, we should be able to deal with that. I have this too. You can get a freeze off of this, but otherwise it's probably not going to be that good. I'm probably just going through this. I think I might just kill it and then see based off what it is. I mean, anything works, basically. This isn't going to activate later, though. Totems may or may not be good for this. It's kind of funny. This is exactly like the worst thing that could happen, is he draws that. Still can't get a full clear with Volcano. I mean, I can, right? I trade this and then I Volcano and then I play this. That's gotta work, right? I can also just use like both of these, maybe. That seems pretty good, actually. I think we do that. Take this value trade. So go here. Do I have to kill this off now? I guess I, I I really need to get rid of that thing. Last card. Okay, I can Volcano. I could also Dunk Tank. I probably just Volcano though. Do I want to blow up my totem for two health? I probably do actually. Totems are still good. I don't believe um collateral I don't think is draftable anymore. Yeah, so as long as he doesn't discover you don't have to worry about your totems killing you that way. Why does everyone have Sylvanas suddenly? That must be one of the new legendaries. I don't remember seeing that before. I think I'd probably just Corruptor only to save this.
<laughs> Next turn lethal, unfortunately. No. Actually, it is still lethal, potentially. Oh, no, 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 it's not. It's... No, 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 no. It's only uh, 21, right? And we have to dunk tank the minion if we're going to. I have a database for draftable cards. I look at either HS Replay or Firestone. Sure. There's a world where you hex this thing, but... Let's just see if we get something here. You get to uh, King Plush, it's a little problematic. That was the one thing where it's like, maybe you want to deny the draw there. No, no, he already played Sylvanas, right? So actually, yeah, that's not even a thing. Never mind. Go for these, try to get more of the uh, high roll drops. That's weird. Sean Copper is a buff for party animal if we hold on to it. Ideally, we top deck the Murloc, Forager. Now we can coin party animal. Damn. I don't think I wait just for a buff, though. Be one thing if I also needed it for activation of elementals later. How viable can a arena deck with all cards less than six mana be? Very viable. Some of the best decks look like that. I have 12 O's with no cards above five mana. If only I had some warm soup. <laughs> That's literally one of my YouTube videos is titles is 12 O with no cards above five mana. You don't actually really want big cards anymore. They just aren't that good. I mean, if we didn't have Shutterwalk, right, we'd have no cards above five mana. Most cards above five mana are honestly traps. Unless you're Demon Hunter, obviously you want Inquisitor and other some other big demons and stuff. Most cards above five mana just aren't good anymore. Cards that used to be good, like Skystalker, they just aren't good anymore. They don't do enough. They're too slow. <laughs> you play a Skystalker and your opponent plays four things and then you die. Not funny, but that's Modern Arena. Surely he didn't discover combustion. I don't think combustion is draftable. The buff card, seven mana shaman. No, that card's good. Yeah, you want to have your. You want to have. Ideally, you have. It can work with none of them, but like ideally, you tend to want to have like one or two big cards. But you want your big cards to be absurdly strong and game winning. And the buff card in shaman, wish upon a star. Like that's that's a good example of one that you would be happy to pick. That card will just win you longer games by itself, basically. You just don't want some card that's like, you know, a Violet Worm from the old days or Proto Drake or even like Containment Unit and stuff. Those things just don't carry the weight they used to. Ready to fight for a better future? Fuck. So I wanted to do this. 
Now he's making it not make a lot of sense. I can go Lackey Corruptor this turn. Uh, this can uh, this can backfire with this. Kind of sucks. It's really bad actually. It's like the only bad Lackey with this. <laughs> really. I mean, some of them damage Lackey can backfire too, but buffing opponent minion would really suck. Uh, help. Oh my god. I buffed the mini in my hand. <laughs> I guess I had cruiser because otherwise... It might deactivate. I mean, I could hold it to activate Living Prairie later, though. That'd be the one thing. Question is, I guess I buff this guy. I can hear a Power Corruptor later. Should be positioning around Meteor, I guess. Meteor is draftable, right? I think it is. Yeah. It's actually pretty common, too. So like add a rare rarity, same as flame strike. Would you recommend to monitor your arena statistics? What do you mean? Like which site would you use for data or what site to like track your own stuff? Don't really need spell power right now. How about a new life? How about a new life? Or to track your own data. There's nothing that there's no tools that really like will tell you things about what you tend to pick and stuff like that, I don't think. You almost have to track that yourself. For the general population, you can look at 8 to 3 player Firestone. There isn't much that's like fine tuned to see your own behavior and whatever. So now his health starts increasing, as is standard in this meta. So that's interesting. If I play Lurker, I will get the uh, the hacks with Shutter Walk. But how much does Shutter do right now? It really just doesn't do much right now. I probably don't want to play it yet, so I'm probably trying to wait. He's at 25, at least. Oh, 30 now. 31, because he's going to freeze this, probably. Like, Shudder... I really just don't have a lot of value yet. Here's some of the value, right? Like right now I only get like a shock hopper, a party animal buff, a duster hit. And I do get a corruptor too. It might be good enough right now, I don't know. I don't want to give him a million amount a 
crapped on a time is the thing. If only I had some warm soup. I may not have a choice, though. I'm coming, I'm coming. Stay or so. I'll or die. The the storm. Deny his here part? Well, then you're giving him health, so I don't think it's worth it. He's probably gonna get to hero power anyway. You'll just hero power something else after dealing damage to it. Dude, if he has reckless apprentice though, we are so fucked. Unfortunately, if it's, uh... Flame War, that's still the obvious ping for him. Hopefully we find Thrall's gift before he finds Flame Strike. <laughs> That's basically what we're hoping at this point. <laughs> They're back at 30. Remember what I was talking about earlier? About how, yeah, at a certain point, control decks in Arena, their health just starts going up. You're doing everything in your power to kill them, and their health just starts going up, not down. None of this, like, kills my own board, right? Well, it's just the Faceless Corruptor, but... And it only summons a 1-1. One -one. Unfortunately, no card draw. If we had drawn the uh, Cactus Cutter already. Cactus Cutter can give us the gift. No. I want to attack with all this stuff first. I want to take the trades too, though. I only summon one, right? I'm coming, I'm I need to do this as fast as possible. Yeah, I low-rolled out. Hmm. Well, that's a thing. That's so bad. I lost my fucking, uh, <laughs> my gangplank. That was my best. <laughs> By far the best man on my board. Ah! Bottom. Jokuru wins it, but Jokuru always wins it. True. Shukuru does win it. I'm kind of surprised. Wait, that wasn't his top deck, was it? 
He was actually that patient this whole time. I'm surprised he didn't rip that earlier. Oh no, he just got off of fill fire, that's why. Yeah, he just didn't have it, okay. Makes sense, that card wouldn't be draftable in this meta. He's like, how do I not die? None of my cards do anything. All I can do is generate value because I drafted greedy. He actually doesn't have any big cards either. Other than the Frostleach Jaina. That was not what he needed. Oh. Shane can steed before we even got to top deck him. Do the chat. Was I concede? That was just a that was a shame concede. Have I lost my mind yet? Not yet. We've been winning more than we've been losing, so that's made that makes it easier to not lose our minds so badly. Do I want? I think I try to get a better elemental here. I could play this on three, but I'd rather not. Let's just try to get. We'll get a Reef Walker, surely, right? Yeah, my best accomplishments is leaderboard wise. I never really wanted to chase that hard for number one specifically, just because. Partially is an acknowledgement of how hard it is, because there's so many good players shooting for it. At least a lot of the time. Um, I guess I'm going to do this now to try to contest his. And there's a lot of luck to actually getting a number one, so it's like... I thought it'd be more interesting to show how consistent you could be in this game. A lot of people try to make the point that it's like, oh, it's all luck or whatever, so... That was why it's like there were times where I hit like trip top 10 on three servers at once just to show it's like, hey, you can actually perform at a really high level very consistently if you know what you're doing. That was always something because there aren't a lot of people trying to do that, right? So I always thought that would be more interesting than just grinding on one server forever. I don't recognize the name. I also didn't play against the Stonehill. It doesn't. No, it is not. Yeah, especially with getting like a number one. Uh, like trying to get number one especially it's like you have to be really good right but there is no amount of skill that will sometimes you just get completely fucked. the best player in the world will will just randomly o3 because the game just hates them that day you know and any that happening at all is going to kill your chance of getting number one right you have to go a long stretch without hitting number without that happening to even get a chance so it's like That's part of what makes it frustrating if you're really tryharding this game. Yeah, sometimes the game just literally takes a shit on you. <laughs> there were guys that were doing that too. It's like, you know, the solution to that is just to play a fuck done. And there were guys doing that who would play 60 hours a week. And just any time that happened, they just started over and would try again. And then once you realize you're competing against people doing that, you're like, yeah, I'd, I'd rather not actually. <laughs> so when you get one shot, they get like eight. So not exactly an even playing field, right? 
just buy buy more packs you have to buy more pre-orders that's the important thing buy more pre-orders and then you get better rng right that's what they say Surely he doesn't blow this board up too. <laughs> it's a perfect volcano again. If I did the pop up book, I, it would have actually been a board that survives volcano. It would be no better against a lightning storm or an earthquake. Is the tracker broken? No? On wings of evil. And it's nothing against people being like super competitive, whatever, but it's like part of the reason I play Arena in the first place was I didn't want to have to like. I know in some other places in Hearthstone, they make it advantageous to... They directly reward people that are willing to put the hours in, right? But I always kind of was like, I like that in Arena, that's usually not such a big thing. If only I had some Could get Thrall's Gift here. Schooling would be good too. I can also just Dunk Tank. Ugh, yellowfish. Ugh, gross. Yeah. So many choices. Bloodlust is actually like pretty good here, right? Cooling works too. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna play all of those. Um, Doesn't look like I'm quite able to really get that 5 damage through there. If I could pop a book, I'd be able to, and I probably would in that case, but it just doesn't work. He's a walking mountain turn, he probably just rips it here. Doesn't have it. You would have to walk him out in there, right? I don't think there's any way he wouldn't, unless he has some other really good clear, but... I don't expect that's the case here. We might start blitzing excavates. Nothing good, please. Thank you. Oh, that's good. Uh, let's trade first. Thrall's Gift is in the deck and probably other things too. That could work. Let's look for a seven mana spell I have to play first. Um, a bop is something. Do 
Let's do that. Volcanosaur. Yuck. So we're one off. Fuck! <laughs> I forgot about Storm's Wrath. I, I, I did all the higher, ch the higher probability RNGs I did first. But I did not do that one. The other ones were way higher chance of getting lethal than this thing. Yeah. I also didn't, I mean, I didn't think that, like, hand buff was even a, because I knew you couldn't pull lost off of that. I didn't, I forgot Storm's Wrath was even a thing. Yeah, to sleep doesn't matter. Yeah, where, where are all the cacks? I would expect more cacks in this moment. We're not getting board cleared, so... Okay, well, if we didn't have lethal, we do now. Oh, good, a shutter walk ban. It's pretty much just been a value card. We've, I mean, we probably only played it like three times, maybe. Barcode final boss. Are you ready to fight? I do wonder if the barcode queue they kind of implied it was a hard queue, but I kinda of wonder if they don't get kicked out of the queue if they can't find a match after ten minutes or something. It's also very possible they're a barcode, but they're just not retiring, right? This place is scary. Oh yeah, I have this button now. I can show it's... it doesn't work. Shit, never mind. I could have protected the Divine Shield and actually just trade off the Reef Walker, maybe. I wonder if that's better. Oh, wow. How do I do this, though? Some you ever transform the Wind Fury after trade? After hitting with it? Maybe that's it. Trade the 1-1, one, one, push 9 face, and then just Corruptor the 3-3. Three, three. It's probably that, I, I guess. No, I, 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 
You could like push everything, keep the 3-3 three, three alive, and then trade both the 5-4s. I don't know. Just dredged up a mana cheated. Ah, uh, by fire, what else? We traded wrong, probably, right? way hopefully we can save the elemental until it actually works to activate something we get two elementals out of that great that's useless try this I guess I could do both of these and clear that way. I know that's worth it though. I need to hex like the first big thing he gets out of this. I think I want to draw more spells though. Doesn't actually work as well as I thought. He still gets to trade that. God, this would gain taunt. I could have not played the schooling, I guess. Would have been an option. I might have been better actually. Yeah, damn, he got to fucking dredge again. That's so bad for us. I need to hex the next thing, right? Oh, that's a card they made. Probably don't want a jam session right now. Probably a bad idea. Oh god, that's huge. No! Oh, my spell totem. Probably has to be the removal turn, I guess. I would think Elemental is better than Mac. I don't know. Probably don't want him healing all that, so I guess I do this.
Meanwhile, his health has literally been going up this whole time. I'm waiting for him to play a big minion that he Tom decks, and then I go Hex, pack the house, basically, right? That would be the strategy, I guess. Okay, or one that he already had. That's That works too, I guess. Just do you ever do this and this instead? I maybe don't need to overcommit right now. Well, he's not guaranteed to win this. He probably will anyway. Ah, the totem won. Fair enough. Uh, uh, do I? No, maybe. Uh, for the content. Okay, fair enough. Uh, do I play? I probably play Salesman first. It would actually be amazing if it died. I need to make sure these don't die, ideally. Ripfish. Well, it probably died to this, actually. Nice. Got rid of the egg for the value. Wait. This actually deals damage, but it's not quite lethal. Not again. Indeed again. Well, either he dies or he doesn't. 50-50. Or we get bailed out by this. Ah, oh. Jive Insect Lethal. That is the best kind of lethal, the best way to get a 12. Watch on YouTube. You enjoy us slaying the barcode for our final boss. <laughs> Hit the like button, subscribe, comment, all of those things. You can do that if you're watching live on YouTube as well, by the way, as many people are. Literally thousands of people, hundreds of thousands, actually millions of people currently are on twitch as well we only have like yeah we got like tens of millions over there you know same thing but you know is what it is so yeah shutterwalk oz through a couple of the slower games right too bad we couldn't get the 12 i still need a 12 shaman jesus but um yeah generally it was just elemental tempo that got us here right so pretty nice Shutter did help though. So. 
Got that going for us. All gold. Beautiful. 100, 420. Nice. Four. Wait. 320 now. 495. Alright. Bye bye, YouTube. So I was in a barcode queue? Probably. No. That was the only barcode the whole run.